The World Wide Web didn't always have such clear industry standards when it comes to web design and user experience. There was a time when the internet was a young, fertile patch of soil, ready to be shaped by the nerdy architects of a new generation. Websites at the time often reflected that. Back in the good old days, many web developers, amateur and not, experimented with different approaches to design, aesthetics and functionality, to varying degrees of success. The very first websites were rather simple and revolved mostly around text, hyperlinks and still images. In the mid to late 90s, things like search bars and animated GIFs became commonplace. In the 2000s, websites often stressed both the design and functionality, not only sporting unique, attention-grabbing styles, but also often allowing users to customize their experience and express themselves in intricate ways, in a sort of expressionist approach towards web design. Earlier MySpace was a prime example of that, giving users near full control over their profiles with an option to customize their pages using scripts, HTML, and much more. Other websites focused on exploring new ways to create specialized, usually anonymous communities that would thrive and serve as bastions of cyberspace and internet culture. Then came the new social media sites and web design standards, and made all of that seem obsolete, with shiny, minimalistic, often more mobile-friendly web design, which prioritized accessibility, uniformity, and ease of use, as opposed to the more, uh, you know... <laughs> ...approach. In addition, these web services were usually less anonymous and more eager to collect a whole lot of data from users, further blurring the already hazy lines between the internet and real life. This approach steadily became the standard across the entire web, way beyond just social media. Web design in the 2010s was defined by this clear-cut corporate aesthetic, an emphasis on broad appeal and minimalism. Things haven't really changed all that much since the early 2010s, and the minimalistic approach to web design continues to prevail, only further coating the internet with plain colors, gloss, and this f art style for some reason. However, in recent years, nostalgia for the old internet began to pop up, with zoomers on the front lines of a currently brewing revival movement for the aesthetics, user experience, and culture of the old web, with modern conveniences, of course. Kinda like a neoclassical movement of sorts, just for cyberspace. But that is a topic for another day. I am Eden Suki, and this was Internet Culture Quickie.